Okay, welcome to part two of the hexadecimal notation lesson. And on this part, or in this part, we are going to be converting between hexadecimal numbers and decimal numbers. Um, you might hear another term for decimal number. They're also called deanery numbers. So if you hear the two terms, they mean the same thing. Um, so here we go. Like in deanery or decimal numbers, we use the numbers 0 to 9. And because we use 10 symbols, so 0 all the way to 9 means there are 10 symbols. Uh, because we're using 10 symbols, the place values for deanery, for decimal numbers, are multiplied by 10 as they go uh, up. So for example, we have the first column, which is column 1, uh, or the value of 1. Then the next column is 10, then the next column after that is 100, and so on and so forth. You get the point. Now, any one of these symbols here that is placed underneath these columns is multiplied by the column value. So, for example, if I put the number 3 here, the number 5 here, and the number 2 here, we simply do 3 times 100 gives us 300. 5 times 10 gives us 50, 2 times 1 gives us 2, so we conclude that this value is 352. Now if we use the same concept for hexadecimal numbers, remember hexadecimal numbers use 16 uh, values, we use 0 to 9, and then we use A to F to represent the numbers 10 to 15. So if we look at the place values for hexadecimal numbers, instead of being multiplied by 10, they are multiplied by 16. So we start off with 1, and the next value is 16, like this. So the next place value is 16. Now, if we put any of these uh, symbols, either 0 to 9 or A to F, into these place values, or into these columns, we do the same thing by multiplying that symbol or that value with the place value above it and then we would get our final value. So for example, if I put A under 1 and under 16, I will put the number 1 like this. So this number 1 comes from the symbols here. So 1 times 16 gives us uh, 16 and 1 times, A, um, sorry, A times 1 gives us 10 because if you haven't forgotten from the first slide, a is representing the value 10. So a times 10, sorry, a, which is 10 times 1, gives us 10. And then we add these two numbers together. We get 6, we get 20. So 1a is the value 26. So this is how you would convert a hexadecimal number into a decimal number by placing the hex number underneath these place values here and then simply adding everything together and converting it into decimal numbers. So we can, uh, we can try another one. So for example, let's try the number A5, like so. So what you would do is you would put 16 above A and you would put 1 above 5 and then you would do 16 times a, which would give you 160, because a is the value of 10. 10 times 16 gives you 160. And then 5 times 1 is obviously just 5. And then adding these two numbers together, there's 165. So a5 is equals to 165. Now in the exam, you might get a question like this. Uh, where you get multiple marks for it. You would get one mark for getting the correct answer and you would get a second mark for uh, for showing that the second uh, place value for hexadecimal is 16. So the question will ask you to show your work. So they will be looking uh, in the answer lines whether you have put the number 16 somewhere above the second column. And they will also, or they might give you a third mark if the question has three marks for showing that you understand what value these letters represent. So just keep that in mind for exam questions. 
Now to do this in reverse, so let's say we wanted to convert a uh, decimal number into hexadecimal numbers. Let's say, for example, we want to convert the number 35. So what I would do for this is I would see how many times the number 16 goes into 35. And I know that the number 16 goes twice into 35 and it would make the number 32. So if that's a little bit confusing right now, just bear with me. So the number 16 times 2 would make 32. 32 is smaller than 35. So we can put this value, 2, underneath the 16 uh, column. Then we would simply see what is the remainder between 35 and 32, and that would be 3. So we say 35 minus 32 would give us 3. So we can put the value 3 underneath the 1 column. So 23 in hexadecimal numbers would equals 35 in decimal numbers. So this is hex and this is decimal. 2 times 16 gives us 32. 3 times 1 gives us 3. Add these two together, you get 35, which is the original number we started out with. Practice this, if you can, with other numbers. Uh, it's quite easy uh, and it's fun to do as well.